My name is Dr. Sarah Myhill and I'm here to speak for Life the Basic Manual. The starting point for treating all Western diseases is what I call a basic package of treatment that we should all be doing. We should all be doing this before we even get disease and it's a starting point to treat should we develop a disease. And because I talk about this all the time, it's like a time loop. I keep coming back and back and back to talking about the diet, the supplements, the sleep, the vitamin C. I call this a groundhog day. It's, um, um, and that gives us three levels of treatment when I'm treating conditions. But groundhog basic is the starting point for everything. And that is the paleo ketogenic diet. Without the paleo ketogenic diet, the gut doesn't work properly, and if the gut doesn't work properly, you don't absorb vitamins and minerals. So I now know there is an order, there is a priority that we have to do these things in to get the best bang for our buck, as I call it. So first, put the diet in place. We are all micronutrient deficient. When I started in nutritional medicine, I used to do nutritional tests to see how well people were nourished. I don't bother with them anymore because I know what the answer is going to be. If somebody is not taking supplements, then they will be deficient. And therefore, I don't do those tests. I simply recommend a basic package of nutritional supplements. And the reason we are deficient is because of modern agriculture. There is a one-way cycling of minerals from the soil into plants, into animals, into us, and it's discarded, it's thrown away. We're not recycling minerals back onto the land. And therefore the soils are becoming deficient, and therefore the foods are becoming deficient, the plants are becoming deficient. If the plants are deficient in minerals, they can't make vitamins. And that knocks on into humans, because we are at the top of that food chain. So the basic package of supplements that we should all be taking just to maintain the status quo is a good multivitamin, and there are many on the market, so yes, you've got to swallow a tablet a day. Sorry about that and then some minerals. And I have made up sunshine salt. It is 80% sea salt, so it tastes great, but it has all the calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, selenium, chromium, molybdenum, boron, and so on and so forth, as well as a generous dose of vitamin D, because everybody is deficient, and a generous dose of vitamin B12, because everybody is deficient. And both those vitamins are heat stable, so you can cook with them. So if you are a mum like I am, and you have a family who don't like taking supplements, as I do, I can put it in the bread, I can put it in the French dressing, I can put it on the vegetables, and they don't know that they're getting a jolly good mineral supplement. And the third thing we should all be taking is vitamin C. Why? Because it's humans, fruit bats, and guinea pigs that cannot make their own vitamin C. Don't think you can get it from fruit because uh, there just simply isn't the vitamin C content there used to be. And so many modern fruits are so high in sugar that that undoes all the good work that you've done with the paleo ketogenic diet. We are a clever species. We can make our own vitamin C very cheaply, very easily. And I recommend everybody should have five grams a day. That is 5,000 milligrams. It's about a rounded teaspoon of vitamin C. Put it in a bottle of water, Drink it through the day, little and often gets the best results, and uh, that will protect you from all disease processes. Starting with vitamin C, uh, these interventions will help protect you from all infections, and that has become a very topical issue now with coronavirus on the horizon. But the treatment for any acute infection, and it doesn't matter if it's a respiratory infection, a urinary tract infection, a gut infection, is what I call groundhog acute. These are the interventions that we need to put in place in the event of any infection. And I detail those in my book, The Infection Game. How to take vitamin C, how to use iodine, which supplements to take, how to rehydrate if you've got gastroenteritis, all very simple things that you can do yourself and are of proven benefit. And then we have the third department, which I call Groundhog Chronic. And I came into this style of medicine through treating patients who have chronic disease, chronic 
fatigue syndromes, myalgia encephalitis, uh, degenerative conditions, arthritis, heart disease, dementia, you know, even cancer. And the treatment for all those conditions is exactly the same. It's the groundhog regimes plus, plus, plus. So the next level of input is what I call groundhog chronic. And again, it's detailed in the infection game. We can all do these things. They're not difficult. Yes, they entail lifestyle changes, but guess what? I want to live my life to its full potential for as long as I can, and then drop off the edge very quickly. What most people are doing now is symptom suppression with medication, not putting in place the necessary interventions, and their health is just slowly going downhill with pain, fatigue, misery and early death. That is all avoidable with groundhog regimes. You just got to do it.